Hello everyone, this is Val Lemoyne, CEO of the Real Estate Made Easy Group powered by Keller Williams. Today we're going to talk about is it worth it to buy a lot and build a brand new house on it? There's a few things to consider before being able to answer that question. Number one is, do you have a builder? There are lots of builders out there and they're not all created equal. You can go to a subdivision where a builder is building different houses on different lots and that would actually be the best way to accomplish that goal of building a new house. If you buy a lot and want to build a new house on it, you're going to have to use one of the builder's pre-approved plans and that's going to be the best way to keep it cheap because if you're trying to build a spec house where you're going to choose every single minute detail of the house, you're basically going to have to hire an architect, get brand new blueprints drawn up, and then get those approved by the state, pull the permits, and then you can start building. If you were to use the blueprints of a house that the builder has built, previously well then you could tweak it a little bit and not have to reinvent the wheel source that way you would really minimize your architectural and design costs another thing to consider is that right now building costs are very expensive this wood has gone back down a little bit but it's it's up there there's also a big supply chain issue which makes new construction very tough because instead of a house taking about nine months to build from start to finish right now you're looking at 12 to 18 months just because of the supply chain issue sand cement bricks appliances shingles all of those things are on back order right now windows normally windows take about six weeks right now they're over 10 weeks so a very organized builder is going to order all of these materials on day one where otherwise um, you you could stagger it uh, a little bit more another thing to consider is if you're buying a lot using your builder you're gonna have to do what's called a 203k loan which is a purchase acquisition plus a build out loan if you were going to use a builder who buys the lot and a lot of times can also finance the deal for you then you would get better options use a builder that's in place who's building out a subdivision and then getting him to build your lot out otherwise you can buy the lot either buy the lot cash and then finance the build out or if you don't have enough cash to do that you're gonna have to finance the build out and the purchase of the lot which you would need a two to three k loan to do so it depends on what your budget is and it depends on what you're trying to accomplish right if you want your forever home that's going to be perfectly drawn out and have all these minute details that are going to be perfect for you well we can definitely make that happen it's going to cost a little bit more and it's going to take a little bit more all right, guys, that is a recap of uh, potentially buying a lot and building it out. This is Val Lemoyne signing off.